Hello everyone. Welcome to the video series of NAT configuration on Checkpoint Firewall. In this video series, we will see how we can implement different types of NAT. This topology we will be using in this entire video series. We have standalone firewall with four interfaces. One interface configured towards internet, one interface is connected towards R1 and LAN machine and then we have another interface connected towards R2 and we have one management machine to manage the firewall. I have also mentioned IP schema this time. So please do not change IP addresses. So you have to configure IP addresses like it is mentioned in this table. Then uh, I have eight tasks in this assignment. So I will divide eight tasks in four videos. So per video you will see solution of two tasks. So in this video we will start with task one. Now task one says configure NAT rule using manual NAT so that subnet 136.1.121.0/24 and 136.1.122.0/24 should be able to access internet via firewall interface IP address. Now it also says create appropriate security policy to allow this traffic and make sure security policy should not allow any traffic. And then we have to do some verification. Let me go to the test machine and then start creating a security policy and then NAT rule. So I'm on the base machine. Um, let me see if my VPN is up or not. VPN is down. So let me first connect to the VPN and then we will see how we can configure this security policy and NAT rule. So let's wait for a second. It is connected. We should see in a mo moment the RDP is working. Mm -hmm. It's up now. Okay, so uh, I have a firewall and this topology is up to date with 192.168.70.102 IP address which is management and then one towards R1 then second towards R2 and then we have internet all good so before we start making any changes I'll quickly see if I can reach all the subnets in my network or not so I have console access you can also take this console access via COM8 so admin admin123 and then first try to reach internet okay it's good then try to reach loopback which is on R1 perfect then try to reach loopback which is on R2 so I could see my connectivity is through from firewall I can reach all the subnets now back to firewall right click add rule uh, below so we will name this rule as internet access for example now requirement was 136.1.121 and 136.1.122 these two networks 122 and then 121 these two networks should be able to access internet so destination would be any because we are uh, talking about internet here and then VPN left out this option services now whatever services are required for normal browsing you have to select that for example HTTP I need I need HTTPS then DNS is required for name to IP resolution and then I will allow ICMP protocol select the action as accept and then logging enabled so we have security policy in place now go to NAT rules so this is the default rule uh, comes uh, with the firewall because of this object let me delete this now no rule exists now NAT rule like we discussed in last class it has been divided into two sections one is original packet and second is translated packet so when traffic will come what will be the source IP address destination IP address and service and when traffic will go out how you want to translate those addresses so instead of uh, IP address here single IP address 136.1.121 and 136.1.22 I want to create a group first so group name I will specify internet for example access then add the subnet and 
call this subnet in NAT rule internet access so destination would be any service we can control with the help of security policy so I'll keep the service as any here right click add height and then you need to select the IP address from which you want to do a NAT so let me create a object here NAT hyphen 203.115.100 and then 102 that's the firewall interface IP address 203.115.100.102 perfect okay destination will remain original and service will also remain original so let me push the policy okay and once the policy has been pushed we will test the internet access from this test machine itself because this test machine has got IP address in 136.1.121 range so let me open command prompt for example and IP config so it has got 136.1.121.100 IP address so from this machine I should be able to access internet once the policy is applied so let's wait policy pushes on 70 percent and once it is done we can test the access and we will also verify the logs after the testing almost done first basic test which is try to ping 8.8.8.8 I should see okay I can ping 8.8.8 that means uh, internet is working from this machine now let me go to the browser and access google.com and meanwhile I will launch smart view tracker so that we can see the logs okay let's wait tracker to load and then we can go ahead and try to access using browser let me close this Google Chrome and try to access for example google.com google.com and awesome I can access internet good uh, go to tracker so we did run couple of tests here so first was ICMP for example let's filter based on source IP address let's say so right click 100 and ok uh, <coughs> I'm sorry uh, ICMP so I could see 136.1.121.100 is the source destination is 8.8.8 .8 and interesting stuff here is traffic is getting natted with 203.115.100.102 IP address and we did initiate couple of HTTPS traffic so 136.1.121.100 then there is a public IP address 443 as the service and then I could see uh, 203.115.100.102 and 203 uh, sorry 203.115.100.102 as the netted IP address interesting stuff here is uh, source port is 3191 and we could see translated source port is now 10004 and this is something we discussed when source port is greater than 1024 translated port will always be in the range 10,000 to 60,000 so that that's something we can see uh, let's uh, go to second task now task 2 says configure NAT rule using manual NAT so that subnet 150.1.1.0 should be able to access internet via virtual IP address also create appropriate security policy and security policy should not allow any traffic so this time we are not going to do a NAT with interface IP address this time we will be doing a NAT with some virtual IP address so let's try that go to test machine again uh, security policies then we can utilize the same security policy because requirement is almost similar that the new subnet 150.1.1.0 wants to access internet 
and NAT rule will be different in this case because the IP address is different. So we have an object already. So click on objects and add 150.1.100. Security policy is good. Now go to NAT rule, right click, add rule below. Add the subnet as 150.1.100. Destination would be any, service would be any. Right click, add hide and we need to create a new object here. And this new object will be for the new IP address which is uh, NAT-203-115-100-105 203-115-100-105 okay click on OK we have a NAT rule but this is a virtual IP address and manual NAT by default does not do proxy R. So we need to configure proxy R for this virtual IP address. So two changes are required. One is one time change and for that go to file policies, global properties and then click on NAT. You need to enable this option which is merge manual proxy R configuration. This is something we have discussed in class, why we need to do this. So click on OK. Uh, now go to now go to browser, for example. Uh, browser on test machine. So we have um, net, we have our configuration here. So scroll down and then we have proxy R, click on add and then IP address 203.115 then 100 then 105 which interface will provide the MAC address that will be Ethernet 3 that's a public interface leave other options click on save and and do read this changes to the proxy app list will take effect on policy install so that means we have to install a policy once so go to dashboard click on install policy So we have security policy in place, we have NAT policy in place, we have proxy R configuration. So we should be able to access internet from the loopback. So I am on R1. Let's wait for policy to be pushed. And we can start the uh, traffic. We can trigger the traffic. Ping 8.8.8.8 interface. Uh, which is 150.1.1.1 .1 so it's not working as of now let's wait couple of seconds about to push changes are about to push uh, 84% and then done so let's see if we can access internet still we cannot access internet so verify the same in logs Oh, let me try again for example verify the same in logs let me remove the filter add the filter filter is 150.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1. uh, 150.1.1.1 add and let's see if we can see the traffic on firewall or not so I could see traffic on the firewall and I could see traffic is getting netted with IP address 203.115.100.105 uh, maybe proxy are the router with the internet router managed by ISP that router is not doing proxy are because uh, I could see traffic is getting netted I can see traffic is going out and let me see again if we have response or not no we don't have response so let me verify quickly what exactly is the problem here there was some issue with the IP uh, address on the ISP side so now if I try to so back to R1 now if I try to reach 8.8.8 uh, from interface 150.1.1.1 I can ping now and if you verify that in logs we should be able to see that traffic is getting knotted via IP address 203.1.5.105 object name uh, is wrong which is 203.115 but the actual IP address is 
you should go back go to nat rule and the ip address is 2315015 so that's it that's all uh, for this video thank you very much for watching this video in next video uh, i will cover task 3 and 4 when we will talk about more on destination thank you very much